Phishing is a criminal technique of obtaining private information through fraud. Typically, the phisher sends an email that appears to come from a legitimate business, a bank, or credit card company, requesting verification of information and warning of some dire consequence if it is not provided. Fake email being sent. Let's see how Sam replies to this social engineer. Other phishing techniques are link manipulation, filter evasion, website forgery, and phone phishing. Social engineering is manipulating people into doing what you want, in much the same way that electrical engineering is manipulating electronics into doing what you want. The classic social engineering attack is telephoning legitimate users of a system you wish to access and talking them out of their passwords. Social engineering is often the easiest way to get data or access. Humans are, for the most part, very trusting. Social engineering is the art of manipulating people into performing actions or divulging confidential information. While similar to a confidence trick or simple fraud, the term typically applies to trickery or information gathering or computer system access, and in most cases, the attacker never comes face to face with the victim. Pretexting is the act of creating and using an invented scenario, or pretext, to persuade a targeted victim to release information or perform an action and is typically done over the telephone. Hello? Hello, this is Randy calling from the Bank of Trust. Could we have your name to verify that this phone number is correct? Yes, my name is Jim Kramer. Oh, hello, Mr. Kramer. It seems that we've detected a suspicious transaction involving a large sum of money. Our records are showing that you made a $50,000 transaction with a suspicious bank account. Can you verify this information is correct? No, this isn't true. I, I didn't make this transaction. Just as we suspected. Somebody has gained access to your account and is making transaction without your knowledge. Can you help me out, please? Why, yes, Jim, we can. To fix this problem, we will have to verify some of your information. Could you please verify your bank account number and your personal PIN number, please? My bank account number is 237-75845, and my PIN number is 2315. So your bank account number, 237-75845, is that correct? Yes, it is. And your PIN number? 2315? Yep. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, sorry, Jim, but the PIN number you provided is incorrect. Um, just in case, because of this, we will need the, your Social Security number in order to access the account. Can I have that, please? Well, okay, it's 271-53-5487. 271-53-5487? That's correct. Okay. All right, Jim, sorry for the inconvenience. We'll have the problem fixed in no time. All right, thank you, Randy. Have a wonderful day. Identity theft, natural disasters, and terrorism are the headline threats of our time. Now, more than ever, problem solvers with broad skills and relevant experience are needed to meet these challenges head on. SRA can help put you on the front line in confronting threats to our security responding to emergencies, protecting vital information, and helping to create laws and policies that ensure personal privacy. More can be learned about the SRA major at http semicolon slash slash ist.psu.edu slash 
prospective students slash undergraduate slash SRA slash.